what is going on, people. If you couldn't tell by the title, I am here for an unboxing. But not just any unboxing, a horror pack unboxing. But before I get into that, I'm going to try something different. I noticed some videos do it. If you haven't already, and you've finished watching this video and you enjoyed it, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that share button. I'm going to tell you to do it before the video's over, because maybe you don't watch the whole thing. Anyway, if you couldn't tell by the title, or if you don't know what Horror Pack is, Horror Pack is a monthly subscription service where you can either get four Blu-rays or four DVDs, or if you want, you can get both packs and get eight movies. The Blu-rays are completely different than the DVDs. So if you're looking to either start up a collection or, you know, grow a horror movie collection, this is probably the best way you can do it. Me, unfortunately, I have quite the horror movie collection, so sometimes I'll get movies I already have, but if you're starting out, this is probably the best way you can do it. Not only are you going to get four movies, but one of those movies is a horror pack exclusive, which means it's probably never been released before on the media that you get, either DVD or sometimes a movie only has DVD releases and a horror pack is their release. So every month you're guaranteed to get one movie that you probably have never heard of or maybe not never heard of, but probably have no chance of getting otherwise. Horror Pack is their release. So that's why I get it a lot. Like I said, sometimes I'll have a few of the ones that I already have, but what could you do? Most of the time I'll give them away in a contest or trade with someone so you know they don't go to waste. Anyway, what Horror Pack does, they have a whole bunch of social media. They got a Twitter and a Facebook fan page and a uh, Instagram. And what they do on those, well, at least I know on Instagram, they give you get uh, clues to what is in that month's horror pack. So you can kind of guess. That's what I like to do. I like to read the clues and then open them up and see if I come anywhere close to any of them. In the beginning, I was a little bit better, but then the you know some of the movies I just either couldn't guess or just you know, they, the clue is just a little too hard. So anyway, what I do, like I said, I'll read off the clue. I'll try to guess the movie, and then I'll open up the pack and see if I'm correct. So anyway, the first clue for this Blu-ray pack, I get the Blu-ray Blu uh, Blu pack. Other people get both. So anyway, the first clue is a young girl's death is only the beginning of this unholy mystery. So, okay, so right in the beginning, I'm guessing it's... I'm guessing it's something... Now I'm trying to think of a movie that starts with a girl, young girl getting killed. The only movie I know that starts with that is... Now does it say little girl? Yes, a young girl's death is the only the beginning in this holy mystery. Hmm. I'm trying to, trying to go through my brain and pick... Um, pick it. Hmm. The only movie I can think of is It, but it's probably not going to be that because that's the only only thought that I that reminds me of a young girl getting killed and then they it brings everybody back to Derry and stuff like that. I know it's not going to be It, but that's the best I have. So that's what I'm going with, but I'm going to tell you I am completely wrong. So uh, we'll find out. Uh, the second clue is a vengeful spirit returns and death follows close behind. Um, a vengeful spirit returns and death does not follow far behind. Hmm. So it's a person that probably got killed. Um, I'm going to go along, along the lines of maybe like a friend request or something because I'm going to go with that because it's one of those deals where the girl gets killed and then her soul or her ghost or whatever goes after people. So that's what I'm going to go with. Probably not going to get any of these, but I do try. Uh, the next one is this tense thriller blurs the line between justice and revenge. Um, it sounds so familiar as like a plot line where the guy goes after... Um, I can't even think of the title. It's where... The guy's daughter gets, like, attacked, and the guy goes after these people. Um, but that sounds more like a 
you know, Death Wish kind of deal, but that's not a horror movie. So, I don't know, to tell you the truth. Well, it says a thriller, so maybe it's something along the lines of Death Wish or something. And then the final one is Family is Horror in this return to form from a gifted genre director. So it must have been someone who did horror movies to begin with and then kind of switched over and then brought it back. So Family is Horror. Family is Horror. Something to do with, hmm, maybe along the lines of of House of a Thousand Corpses or something like that because, you know, it's a family that goes crazy and starts killing people. So that's what I'm going to go with. Again, I probably didn't get any of these. So open up the pack now and then figure out what they are. I was close to any of them and we'll go from there. One of them isn't going to be correct at all because one of them, like I said, is the Horror Pack exclusive. So it's going to be a movie that I, you know, either never owned. Well, I never owned it. Well, one I actually did own because we got it for, but that's besides the point. So anyway, I'm going to pull these out one by one. One of them, I can tell this one is, they also have a signed copy. So I don't know if the signed copy is the Horror Pack exclusive, but sometimes they'll have... Uh, movies where the cover is signed. So anyway, I'm going to pull them out one by one, see if I'm anywhere close, and then if I'm not, try to guess which clue goes to which movie. So the first one I pull out is... Okay, I'm guessing this is the last one, the family of horror, whatever, it's with the return of the guy from the genre, uh, the genre. This movie actually isn't that bad. It's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. I do own it, but to tell you the truth, it did bring you know bring him back into the whole horror genre i did enjoy it the movie's called the visit if you have not seen this one i say definitely go ahead and check it out again you know m night Shyamalan went a little all over the place but this brought him back i did like the devil and then the other one that he did um drawing a blank but anyway the visit that's the first one so i'm guessing that's the family of horror or whatever the second movie is all right, I got this. This, I think, is the Vengeful Ghost. I already do have this one. This is a Asylum release. And to tell you the truth, it's not too bad. Um, it's one where they go and uh, they end up by a... Uh, what do you want to call it? A graveyard. And the whole theory or the whole myth is hold your breath because if you pass a graveyard and you don't, the spirits who's ever walking around at that point can possess your body or whatever. So that's pretty much what this is. It's called Hold Your Breath. Again, it's put out by Asylum. I already do have it. Again, it's not, you know, bad. It's not the greatest of movies, but it's not too bad. Hold Your Breath. Uh, the next one is... Okay, this one, this one might be the Vengeful Ghost or whatever. Um, this is the original Ouija. Uh, I'm guessing this is the vengeful one. So, three out of four I do have, so we'll see what this... So, this one probably is signed, and it's the horror pack exclusive, so we'll see which one, which movie this is, and it is... Um... Three. It looks like the movie's called Three, or... Uh, yeah, Lewis Simmons Three, and it is signed by uh, the director, like I said... Sometimes they'll have other movies signed, but this is a limited edition, the uh, Horror Pack edition. This is number 29, and it's signed. So uh, we'll see what this one is all about. Three, White Lotus Productions, a Lou Simmons film. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, one that I'll be checking out sooner than later. Uh, so that's three. You got Ouija, Hold Your Breath, and... The Visit. Again, like I said, most of the time I'll have a bunch of the movies already, so I did have three of them, but the main reason I continue to get them is for this bad boy here, the Horror Pack exclusive. I have all 28 other ones. I've been doing this for over two years now. They've been doing it for over two years. I'm like, I'm talking like it's, it's my box. But anyway, like I said, if you're looking to build a collection, if you're lo looking to bolster up a collection go ahead and get both uh boxes because they definitely will um you know help you build your collection getting four movies a month for um i guess i should tell you the blu-rays run uh they start at well depends on how many 
months you go for. You have the single month where you just get <clears throat> charged every month. They have a three month, a six month, and a year subscription. Uh, the more you sign up for, the cheaper it gets. The Blu ray start at $24.99, the DVDs start at $19.99 a month. And then the more you buy, like the more months you get, the cheaper it gets. I think the Blu rays get down to like $21.99 if you get the year subscription. So if you're interested, if you're looking to build up your collection, definitely go ahead and check out Horror Pack. And uh, yeah, there's your four movies. And uh, stick around because I will be doing, well, you'll see it, but I'm going to be doing a review of a movie that comes out in next Tuesday. So anyway, check out Horror Pack. Check out the rest of my videos if you haven't already. Like I said in the beginning, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and of course hit that little bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff. And until next time, I'll see you guys.